Okay, here's the complete 400K disk mechanism. Uh, there's a number of moving parts that I found uh, needed clean and lubrication. First, when you put the disk in, there's actually two actions. It opens the uh, shutter on the disk, as you can see here. And then pressure on the back of the carriage forces this spring-loaded lever out, which drops the disc down and into position under the reed right heads. Uh, it's a fairly complicated little mechanism. About uh, four springs and uh, two mechanical latches, which are actually located on the right side of the drive over here. As you can see, there's also an auto-eject solenoid there. Uh, all of these linkages, all of the pivot points you see here, need lubrication and cleaning at some point. Otherwise the disc won't uh, go in when you insert it. It won't drop down. It won't open the shutter and uh, ultimately it won't eject. Likewise, the mechanism for ejection is a little bit complicated. It has to move first up and then out to actually kick the disc out. If the disc won't eject, it's because this mechanical catch right in here is not releasing. Uh, that took quite a bit of work to free up. Uh, I'm using a light machine oil, 3-in-1 uh, brand. I don't know if that's optimal or not, but uh, it's what I have on hand and it seems to be working pretty well. So let's take a look at the whole thing in operation. We'll turn the CPU on. We'll put the disk in. We can see it's seeking. And it's uh, loading off the disk. Okay, we've successfully loaded the operating system. Let's see if we can eject the disk, just for the sake of argument, because it's been giving me some trouble here. No, it's still not ejecting quite right. But we can operate it manually for now. Okay, a little more uh, tinkering here, and uh, I think I'll be ready to put the disk drive back together.